I would like to present you the digital clapperboard. And for this, I just go here to the start menu. That's the actual clapper menu. Now you can tape it and press the start button. And you see a countdown before the sync will come. Now let's see it. So that's used for synchronization. We have a separate audio device, a Zoom recorder, and using a HDTV recorder for the images. This is a consumer one, so the quality of the audio usually is not that good, so it's very good if you have a separate audio device. And that's very handy if you use our clapper board, our a clap board. Now, once the scene has started, you can press a in, and now you see the scene length, which is very helpful when you want an overview of all scenes taken during the shots. And you can press the out button, and now you can click on additional take. You get a new take or additional take number. This is in sync then to your books, which you have, and you press the start. If you don't want the clap sync, you could just press the in button. You don't get a sound then. And use it for scene measurement, like here. Now let's press the out button. I will show you a little bit more of our menus. Of course, you have different frame rates here, which you can choose. This was a 30 FPS. Then you have different clapboards, just the animation. And you have different sounds. Let's use the A sound, for example. Now we are internal. Just let's look like it's on day. You also have a manual time code if you don't want to have the real time code. And you can press here, get location to get the GPS location if available. We are using an iPod here now, but with an iPhone you get a good position if you want to have this data. Now let's go to clap. And we see the clap again and press the start button. So let's adjust it a little bit. You have also, level meter on the right and left side shows you the horizontal alignment of the clapboard. Now, this is the other sync sound which we have, and you can press the in button to measure the scene length and out. Once you have done this all, you can see in the statistic all which you took. You can have additional comments if you want to. There is a possibility to take some notes here. And you can send the whole stuff via plain text CSV or HTML file to your email account. And that's what you can do here. You can define new projects. Of course, I will show you the main menu now. This is the main menu we have. There you can say new film, a new film project. You can enter the project name, which is automatically filled in once you have already a film project. But you can have more, of course, so many you want to and the production name, a director, a camera, that's additional comments, some notes if you want to. And then you save this once you have here. Let me do it very quick here. Save, and now you're ready for shooting. And you get it here also automatically in the timing list here once you have a new project there. So this was the ERS, which we did very quick here. And here you can see in the main project how many takes you have done already and a total length. You can see this always as an overview. And what we also have is a task manager for generic task. That's the same thing as with the clapperboard, but here you can press in and take the measurement and press out. And in the statistic, you can see that was 14 seconds here without a comment. You can take it, uh, uh, press here on the button to get some notes there in and out. And I'll show you here in the statistic. You can see now our notes which we have here. So that's that's about what we can do here. Also you have an email. The location can be saved of course. And you can edit the names if you want to change it. And set a manual in and out point also. So that's about our clapboard. And now let's take a look into Adobe Premiere for example and see how it looks there. Here you can see the timeline, the scene is above, and below we have a separate audio. We took the audio using a Zoom input device, which is very handy and has a good audio quality. And the scene was taken here with a HDTV camera, a consumer one, where the audio is not that perfect. So this is always very easy to use then. And now you can put them both in sync, and that's what we did by building up this example here.